high views, we are still on laws of indices or laws of exponents. So we're still looking at multiplication law of exponents. So we have three cases and the three rules that we can apply to resolve those cases. So we have the first case where we have two same bases and how you can resolve them. So if you have two numbers with the same bases, what you need to do is you simply add the powers. Uh, so now this one actually goes with the first problem here. So now for you to resolve this, you simply write the base and then you add the powers, that is 2 plus 5, which is equal to 2 raised to the power 7. Let's move on to the second case. So the second case is where you have the power over two different bases. The bases are different and then they are raised to the same power. So how do you resolve such kind of problems? So this one is actually a perfect example of a case where you can apply this rule. So now how do you go about this one? So I'm going to write this one here. So say a, b raised to the power 3. What you need to do is you actually raise both of the bases here to the power 3. So we're going to have a raised to the power 3, then b raised to the power 3. And we're done. Let's move on to number 3. Okay, so with number 3, uh, this one is actually falling under the same category of such kind of cases. Okay, so we have negative 5x raised to the power 2, y, then close bracket, we have a 2 there. So now what it is is, when you're dealing with such a case, we have a power over two different uh, bases. So now, what will happen is this. We're going to have this one. It's a negative 5 squared. You're raising it to the power 2. Then x. Uh, squared. We'll have to be squared, this one. And then we have y squared. So we could have actually multiplied this. We could have actually brought in this rule, but since we haven't touched on this one, which is why I'm trying to show what is really happening. So this one, which is the power, actually counts the number of uh, copies of the best. So we have x2 times x2. We have two copies of those. So when you multiply them, we are going to apply the first rule. We say we write one base and then we add the powers, which will give us x raised to the power 4. So this one, here when expanded, that would be negative 5 times negative 5, which is equal to 25. So we will have 25. Then x raised to the power 4. Then y squared. That's how you resolve this one here. Let's move on to the third uh, case. So with the third case, the saying when you have a power over another power, what you need to do is you simply multiply the powers. You write the base, then you multiply 3 times 7, that's 21. So that's how you go about this. Let's move on to this other one. This one is actually equally the same as that one. So we apply this rule. So it's a y. 5 times 3, which is equal to y raised to the power 15. Well, so that's how we go about these things. If you've liked the video, I urge you to go ahead and like it. And then you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And make sure that you turn on the notification bell so that any time I post a video, you happen to be alerted. Thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed.